in this this clip, this video, I want to talk to you about mail merge. And mail merge is something that is tested at national five higher. It's even also something that is good to know at national four, and something you probably should know at national four. Mail merge tends to sound quite confusing, and it can be quite daunting. But generally, with the newer versions of software, it is quite straightforward, I think, and it brings together data from uh, two pieces of software, normally some kind of document, uh, a letter, memo, itinerary, a table, and information from a database. And that could be customers, clients, it could be accounts, it could be anything. Um, the main goal for mail merging is time saving. Now rather than having to possibly create, edit and amend 100 or 200 letters, you simply would merge one letter with your entire customer database and you would make several of them in a couple of minutes. And that's what I'm going to show you next. So normally for mail merge you may have to create a letter, type one up, or there'll be one saved for you depending on what the task asks what the task asks you to do. So here we have our saved letter. And it's also linked to a database. Well it will be linked to a database in a moment. Now what you do first of all to mail merge is to click on mailings and then I always go to start mail merge and then step by step mail merge wizard. Now, it gives you a process, it gives you a bit like the, the wizard for making a table or a form, it gives you set steps to go through. There may be different ways to do this but I find this the most, the most foolproof and the most um, straightforward for me. So first of all start your document. We have one already, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, then we're going to use the current document and then select recipients. This is where you find the data you want to link to your table. So you're looking for the saved location. So you browse. And it will open up a search window shortly. And then you go and find the table you're looking for. So what you're looking for is your saved location, wherever your data might be. And you find your file and then you just click open. And that will bring up a window and it will show all the tables that are connected to that particular database. And you may have lots of them, maybe queries, there might be other tables, but we've got one. And this is the one we're looking for, so we just click OK. And next, you know, it goes to write your letter, which we've done already. So what we want to do is to add in some merge fields. Now you can do it a different way. You can add it from over here in more items, but a simpler, more straightforward way is to go to merge fields, insert merge field. Now think of this as setting up a normal address book. Think of it like a letter. You've got insert title, then surname, like so. Maybe add a space on there. And next, in a letter, you can start to work on the address. So you could have, let's see, street, let's put in, then we'll have town. And then we could have postcode. space out of there and then don't forget to actually address the letter formally. So then back to our merge fields. We have title and summary. Now these things here, these are called merge fields. Whenever you do mail merge you have to print off normally two different things. One, show your merge fields, the evidence that you actually have undertaken mail merge and then one particular record. If we say click here and preview our letters, we can see that some of the results have appeared right away. And if you cycle through, you can see it changes per person. And that is how you conduct a mail merge to identify someone else's information. And 
If at this stage you want to go back and add and amend or view your merge fields, if just click back to previous and it shows you your merges. Um, this is really simple, really straightforward meal merge, sort of at national four, national five level. Um, if you keep on clicking through and preview your letters, it does finish it for you. You can view all the ones you have to view. And then you can edit or print individual ones. Now, very important when you may merge, you only print the one you have to be very careful when printing. Thank you. Hopefully this has been helpful.